Alright, so I just got done watching the Ilanya Van Zandt episode of Rex and Family Values. I'm just going to do a quick review on how I felt and kind of what, like, see what the episode was about. So, the sisters have been having, you know, trouble for a while figuring out why, where's the breakdown in their sisterhood. And so they invite uh, Ilanya Van Zandt, and I am probably a little biased because I actually really like that show. Um, like, I know that her approach might not work for everyone, but I actually really enjoy that she gets to the root and the truth of it all. So I knew going into this, I knew that it was not going to be a good fit for the Braxton sisters because just they don't like dealing in reality or dealing in the truth, especially Tamar. She does not, she is not for people calling her out and wanting her to tell the truth, but she can tell everybody else's truth. So that's the thing about her, is that she doesn't want anyone telling her, you know, here's the truth of what's going on in your situation, but she can do that to everybody else. But I'll lay that to the side for a second. So Mama, E, and uh, Trina, they start off getting foot massages together, and just talking about the experience. And so what I thought was interesting was that Trina actually says, uh, she, uh, last time I was here, she wanted me to say something bad about my mom, which I would never say anything bad about my mom. Okay, so I was like, ding, 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 because if you can't ever acknowledge, you know, no one's parents are perfect. So if you're not allowed to acknowledge the shortcomings of your parents because you're afraid to hurt their feelings, that's kind of like a red flag for me. Because I was like, well, you know, there has to be something along the line that she did that hurt your feelings or that you didn't appreciate, but they're all too afraid to say, you know, tell the truth about their mother. So, um, and, um, Evelyn just came in, like, real nasty, real, um, just like, why do I have to fix, she can't fix my life, no one can fix my life, only God can fix my life, and just, like, just saying all this stuff where she already came in with, like, a closed heart. So by the time they get there, her and Tamar both, I could tell, both came in with like, not wanting to participate. So I could already tell that it, they weren't for the shits, and they weren't going to do the work they needed to do to heal their family. So after that, they all sit down in the room. When Trina walks in, they're all giving her the dirty look, evil eye, like, bitch, like, bitch. Because they're all, they think that they're all coming here to basically attack Trina and tell Trina why she ain't shit and why you were supposed to stand with us against this huge corporation but you didn't. So that's their gripe is with uh, with Trina, especially Tamar. She's a, she seems like she's really mad at Trina. So um, uh, Evelyn gets, uh, not Evelyn, Ilanya gets there and she starts asking them, hey y'all, why are we here? And all them fucking quiet. I'm sorry, the whole episode just got, just chat my ass. <laughs> like, it really pissed me off because they're wasting everyone's time. So anyways, they're all quiet, and then Tony finally speaks up. It's like, we're here because we need, uh, we need your help. We need fixing our sisterhood. And so basically, like, uh, Elon gets to the point where they all admit that Tony's kind of the spokesperson for the family. And she starts going around the room, and she asks Evelyn, why is she here? And Evelyn doesn't say... She says, I don't know why I'm here, you know, basically, I don't even know why I'm here right now. Like, that's what she said. So her confessional, she's like, I don't even know why I'm here. I'm only here to support my daughters. You know, I'm not here for anything else. I'm sorry. Just Evelyn got on my fucking nerves that whole damn thing. Like, she just was so closed off. And Elania actually said, she's like, she came wearing, she came in wearing a red pantsuit. And Elania was like, that's war colors. You know, she came to here to fight. And that's all she did was fight the whole time. So, um, Ilania was like, you know, these problems happen from the, from the head to the tail. It stinks from the head to the tail. The fish stinks from the head to the tail. She's like, I don't stink. Like, Ilania, um, Evelyn's like, I don't stink. I don't with no fish over here. I don't stink. It's like, you didn't do anything inappropriate. Okay, let's just talk about this. When your daughters asked you, this happened because they all started talking about it. The daughters asked her. Uh, told a story about when they first were getting divorced and they were all children and Trina I said okay, where does that leave us and they said oh ask your mom ask your dad that's inappropriate 
that stinks. That's not what you say to a child that's, that's getting their family torn apart. I just, I just really realized during this whole episode that Miss Evelyn is a nasty woman. And Ilanya actually said it before when um, Trina came on the show. She said it. She was like, your mother taught you how to be a bitter, nasty woman. And she said that without even like, meeting her. So she said that on her own show when Trina came on with her. And it just, she just proved her to be correct this whole episode. Like, even when, um, so they all started going over what their values were. Like, oh, what's your values? They're like, oh, our values are family. Our values are forgiveness. And then she was like, I got values are never getting up. And she was like, these are your values? I mean, don't seem like they're your values because you got a divorce. Your parents got divorced. All y'all have divorces. So it seems like y'all do give up. And I'm looking at this list and it doesn't seem like that's the characteristics of your family. So she said that Evelyn rolled her eyes real hard. She was like, mm. and um, everyone seemed very, um, everyone except for uh, the mom seemed kind of receptive um, to the whole thing. Um, so they're doing that, just talking. And so basically, they said, okay, let's take a break. Um, let's all go home. Oh, I've got to mention this part. So basically, uh, Ilanya goes over the rules, like what's their expectations of the people are. So she goes over these rules, right? And so one of the rules was, I will see the process through to the end. And Evelyn's the only one, the only one, the only one who will not say she will see it to the end. She is the only one who was who just said, I'll play it day by day, because she wanted to leave. And then what pissed me off really, much, really bad about it was like, Ev- um, Ilani should have kept trying to get her to, you know, stay with the process and, and make a commitment that she's, she'll stay to the process. So she started to get mad and get irritated and she was like, can you just get off of me? Like, get off of me? And um, basically, uh, she dropped it. You know, Ilani dropped it. But Evelyn did a little, like, cut to me confessional. She was like, she's like, I, she just kept pushing me. And I don't see what me being committed has anything to do with my daughters. That has everything to do with your daughter. If you can't commit to your children, that has everything to do with your daughter. And the like, daughters actually admit to their mother and their father, they're like, look, I'm too, I'm afraid to say how I really feel because I'm always trying to protect your feelings. I'm afraid to, to, to do anything because I'm afraid it might hurt you. Alright, fast forward, they want to take a break. So everyone goes home, and then Elanya's like, look, you guys promise you'll be there tomorrow, right? You guys are going to promise you'll show up. And everyone's like, yeah, 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 we'll show up, we'll show up, we'll show up. Okay, so they end up showing up, but Tamar's two hours late, Tony's on a phone call, and Ilanya loses her shit. And she's like, she's like, you bitches, you guys are late. I was on time. I ate in my car to make sure I'd be on time for you guys. You guys did not do me the courtesy of making sure you would be on time for me. Basically, she told them, she read them from head to toe, said that they didn't have any integrity, they didn't have any order, they were chaotic, and basically just read them for being late, and, you know, Tamar got in her attitude and started blaming production. She's like, production's the problem, production's the lie. She's like, no, it's not production, it's you. You're the problem. Show up on time. Honor your commitments. And she was like, this is this is just a part of the problem that you have as a family. Is that none of you honor your commitments. And um, basically, she just was going off on them. And then she was yelling at them all. And then she did her famous table slap. Not on my watch. And say, sometimes you just gotta say, not on my watch. And then she walked out on them and was like, I'll be here tomorrow. You know, I'll be here tomorrow at whatever time's on that sheet. Now, if you want to be there, be there. If you don't, then don't. So that's what she said to them. And Tamar started getting an attitude and started rolling her big old bald egghead, rolling her neck and everything, getting an attitude because she was late and no one ever calls Tamar out on her shit. No one ever calls her out. So when someone does call her out, she's like, oh, the indignity. It's like you were wrong. You were late. You should have apologized. Shouldn't why did you get an attitude with her for saying you guys disrespected me with your lateness? Even 
uh, Trina. When, Trina was like, when, finally, when, someone sees it. When they don't show up, we have to pick up the slack for basically Tony and Tamar. Because when they don't show up, because they think they hot shit. So like, I'm not showing up to this little show. I'll show up when I want to show up. You know? They leave their sisters picking up the baggage for it. So, um, she said that. And all in all, what I really got from it is that Miss Evelyn is a nasty woman. She is not... She is a... I don't know how to describe it. Like, she's just nasty. And she's bitter. And she's, she seems like she was a really mean woman. So, at the end of the day, before Elania got into the asses about being late, Elania gave them all hugs. And she was like, okay, y'all, see y'all tomorrow. She gave them all hugs. Like, you know, goodbye, bye-bye, I love you, bye-bye. And Evelyn said, Evelyn didn't want to give her a hug. Said after she was getting on me like that, she wanted to give me a hug. Like, ugh. Like, bitch, this isn't personal. You motherfuckers called me. You called me. And you are wasting my time. Constantly are wasting my time. You don't want to be honest. Tracy, I've got to mention this part too. Tracy is telling people she's numb when really she's not even numb at all. It's like, you guys are wasting my time by not telling me the truth. And I just was getting so frustrated with this family because I was like, your mother, you guys all look to your mother. That's who you are. That's who you become. Someone who can't hear advice. Someone who des- desperately doesn't want to be wrong. Someone who keeps secrets. Someone who lies. Someone who just... It's just not good. And when I look at it, I'm just like, this. I don't even want to watch this family. Like, I don't even want to watch these people because they're so dysfunctional. It's not fun to watch. I don't have a good time watching. I just get frustrated because I'm like, you guys are lying. You're lying because you have that, like, that's a lot of those, like, churchy black people have that mentality where they don't want to tell the truth. They want to keep everything in their home. They want to keep everything hush-hush. And that's not right, and it's weird, and it's not good for your family dynamic. And if you can't tell the truth, then you're always going to be sick. You're always going to have problems, you know. And you see, I I just feel like, I really do feel like it's everyone's fault. And you see how well-adjusted and happy the dad is now? Like, the dad seems very well-adjusted. He seems very... I mean, he, he, he was shitty for what he did to, to, did to Evelyn. He was shitty. But look at him now. He had things he had to admit about himself. He had to grow out of. And she can't ever take responsibility. She, she, she can't take responsibility for the things that go wrong. And I was kind of disappointed. Like, I was just really disappointed. I was like, you guys get your shit together. It's not fun watching these sisters fall apart. And it, they are disrespectful. They're, they're disrespectful. They're spoiled. Just like TDJ said, they're disrespectful. Who do they respect? They don't respect each other. They don't respect people who come in to help them. They don't respect the only people they respect are their mother and their father. That's the only two people that that's the only people that this family respects is the mother and the father. But anybody else don't respect the, the, each other. And. It's like they treat people so rude. And when Tamar called Ilanya by her, her her name before she had her spiritual like ceremony, I was like, that's just disgusting. Why do you go there? Like she seriously needs real time help, like serious help. And it's kinda sad to watch. So that was part one. Part two will be on But you guys tell me what you guys think about the if you saw the episode, tell me what you think. And tell me who you think's to blame for this breakdown. I think they all have a part to blame. I think a lot of them are still really hurt about things that have happened in the past. And I don't think that, you know I don't think that their parents help. Their parents should be facilitators to get them to the next side. And they're so their mom is so afraid of being in the middle. That she can't be the bridge to get the kids over these issues that they have. So she wants to stay out of it. It's like, you can't stay out of it. You're the mother. And she's like, oh, why do I have to be blamed? These women are 40 years old. Why do I have to be blamed? You taught them these behaviors. Not when they were, they didn't come out 40. You taught them these behaviors when they were children. You know, so you have responsibility in this. And you need to 
recognize it and own it. And until you do, your, your children recognize it. Your children see that the way you behave with your ex-husband, the way you walk in the world, has an effect on them. You're the only person who doesn't want to recognize that. And they're too afraid to tell you the truth. So anyways, I will be watching part two, but part one chat my ass. So I was just like, this is annoying. <laughs>